Hello everybody, Andrea here. So let's talk about working interviews. So if you are a dental hygienist or a dental assistant and you are called upon to participate in a working interview, so this can work one of two ways. Um, I find they can call you in for an interview first to see if they even like you, to see if they're a good, um, if you are a good candidate for the job. And then if they like you, they will say, well, why don't you come back tomorrow, next week, whenever, to do a working interview so we can really see how you are in the office and as a person, as a dental professional, um, or they could simply call you because they liked your resume or they heard about you from somebody that does happen a lot in our profession where we don't even have to send in a resume sometimes. We just get told by so-and-so that they know a friend, a dental assistant, a dental hygienist who's looking for a job. And then they'll call you. And even instead of just talking to you first, they'll say, well, why don't you just come in? We'll talk to you that day and let's do a working interview. So I've had to do them as well. Um, I find I had to do it more often when I was a dental assistant. Um, I shouldn't say more often when I was a dental assistant, um, I got the job right away, like after a working interview, but as a hygienist, I found they hired me, but would say, you know, if we don't like you, or if you're not a good fit for the office, then we'll just let you go before the three month probation, but working interviews. So what are they and what to expect? So basically act like you are part of the office. I know it's nerve wracking. You're going to be nervous because you probably feel like you're being watched. But honestly, nobody has time in a dental office to really watch you. They just want to see if you're good with patients and if you basically know what you're doing. But at the same time, they realize you're new to the office. They will not expect you to be perfect. And I can promise you that. I have seen many working interviews in my time where I'd be working at the office and the dental hygienist was having a working in, um, interview or the dental assistant. And all we're looking for, like I said, is are they good with patients? Meaning, are you going to sit there and look at the wall or are you going to talk to your patient? Are you going to take initiative? Are you going to clean up the room, disinfect the room right away? Or are you going to sit in the lunchroom twiddling your thumbs while the room is dirty waiting to be cleaned? So we look for initiative. These things I think are common sense, but apparently they're not because I've actually seen these things not be done. So I've seen it where I'll be working on my patient and I'll kind of walk by the room and think, okay, that room's dirty, no big deal, but where's the dental assistant or the dental hygienist? She must be doing something else, helping another patient doing something else, yet she's in the lunchroom or she's in the back having a snack or something. So we look for initiative. I can't say that enough. We look for your personality too. You don't have to have energy. You don't have to be bubbly. You don't have to be shy. You don't have to be whatever. It doesn't matter what personality you have, but do you mesh well? So are you going to come in and act like you own the place? Are you going to come in and pick fights with every member of the dental staff? I know that sounds silly, but we look for things like that. We don't want you to do that. Are you going to help out even when you're not asked? So what I tell people all the time is, let's say your patient cancels. Well, again, don't just sit there twiddling your thumbs. Go to the dental receptionist, ask if they need help. Say, my patient canceled, can I help you with something? Um, because again, they realize you're new to the office. They don't expect you to be perfect, but anybody can file charts. Anybody can, I don't know, take this, to the back room or anybody can open up boxes in the supply closet and help unpack things, things like that. Anybody can do that. Um, if the dental receptionist doesn't need help, then go to the dental hygienist and say, can I help you? Can I help you record your probing numbers? Can I help you disinfect your room? Um, can I help you take your tray for you to sterilize it? I mean, you might not know how to work their sterilization lab. So, okay, I wouldn't suggest doing that, but you could at least take the tray and put it into the, st the sterilization area. If somebody's in there, you can say, Oh, I'm just going to watch you because my patient's not here. I'd like to see how you guys do um, this, the sterilization process. It might seem simple, but every office is different on how they do it. So ask for help. These are the things we look for. Um, at the end of the day, don't just simply leave and say, okay, bye, see you later. Ask anybody if they need help and then go to 
whoever kind of brought you in in the first place, was it the office manager who you had more um, conversation with? Were they the ones who had hired you for the working interview? Or was it the dentist themselves? If they're not busy, you know, go into their office, go into their op and say, thank you so much. Um, I really had a good day. I hope I did well for you. Um, any feedback, I'd love to hear what you thought or just say thank you. It was so nice to see you. I would love to work for this office if you'll have me, something like that. So I hope that helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video. Click like if you liked the video and make sure to click subscribe because I do upload videos often. Thank you guys, bye for now.